climate security is not only about conflict, it's also about public uh, safety um, and national security interests. We can definitely see it as a threat multiplier, i.e. where conditions are already rife with conflict. You throw in climate change and you can get a pretty explosive mix. The example of Darfur, drought was just an additional factor in an environment that was already rife with tension. More and more people were then fighting over less and less resources. And uh, the reason why I like the example of Darfur is because we will be seeing much more of that in uh, the years and decades to come. Half of the world's population is somehow dependent on water from the Tibetan Plateau. And once the glaciers start melting, more and more people, because you have, to take, you have to account for population growth as well, more and more people will be fighting over less and less water. The question is, will governments find a way to get together and find uh, negotiated solutions? Organized crime, for instance. Um, Mexico is a very good example of that. If coffee farmers cannot plant any coffee anymore, simply because climatic conditions are deteriorating, they will be forced into alternative livelihoods which do not exist as such. So their alternative livelihood might be organized crime. There will be massive problems. There won't be anything even remotely associated uh, with conflict, but uh, we'll be having um, public health problems with uh, increasing uh, temperatures. Drought um, is a massive problem. There will be increasing problems with flooding, east coast, west coast, rivers, uh, the Great Lakes. With a change in climate, you might have risks for um, infrastructure, critical infrastructure, energy infrastructure, and of course there's the Arctic. With the melting Arctic, you will have very many um, nations, maybe private sector interests, fighting of resources that are newly available. Canada will face problems um, having to regulate increased or possibly increased shipping in the Arctic. How do you make new shipping lanes more secure? Heat-related deaths, people, especially elderly people, not being able to cope with heat waves, for instance. But with increasing temperatures, there's also a much greater risk uh, for the transmission of vector-borne diseases. Insects, um, like mosquitoes, uh, will thrive in, in that kind of climate. Some species of rodents, which would be natural enemies uh, to those insects, might not be able to cope with the heat. So you have more insects. Um, carrying those vector-borne diseases, hence um, increasing risks for public health. There is a great report done by uh, Natural Resources uh, Canada. I haven't learned it by heart, but I can strongly recommend it. It spells out exactly what climate change means for different uh, regions and provinces in Canada. And uh, it talks a lot about the agricultural sector as well.